Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here and it's the morning after El Clasico and it is really, um, it's quite incredible, the feeling uh, right now is, is is really extreme, I mean what we went through yesterday um, was quite incredible, the game itself, of course the lead up and the build up to the game is always the nerve wracking period, you know there's so much atmosphere, there's so much tension, there's a lot of anticipation going into such a huge huge game in, in not only you know Barcelona or Real Madrid but it's it's a huge game globally and uh, it didn't it didn't disappoint. You know, it was a really, really good game, fiercely contested. Um, and I always find it difficult to actually enjoy the game during the game because you're always on edge, you're always a bit nervous about what's going to happen. You can never really sit back and relax, you know, even if you're winning. Uh, and it was quite like that yesterday. So what I often do, you know, if we do win the game is, is watch the game back to actually enjoy some of the best moments of the game. And, you know, looking back at it, I was really proud. I was really proud of the performance from the team, particularly the second half. We were really, really hard. And it wasn't a vintage display. You know, we didn't wipe the floor with Real Madrid. We didn't destroy them. But what we did do was work really hard for the team. They, they worked together. The unity in the squad was really, really good. I really like the celebration after Luis Suarez's goal. They were all on the floor together. And it just feels like a really good mood in the camp at the moment. Everyone is pulling in the same direction. Everyone understands their role at the team. And Luis Enrique, credit to him, has bounced back massively from the start of the year. The loss at Sociedad. He's got everyone on his side. He's starting to do things in the right way. The team respects him. They understand his ideas. And we're certainly moving forward and going into the final stage of the season it's massive now it's really really every game is huge every match is a big one and we've got to make sure we don't disappoint because we're so far now we've come so far we've got to make sure we get over the line like I've come here today to say we're not there yet everyone keep your feet on the floor I'm here to be positive I'm here to say that we've got some great players we're playing some great football there's a lot of good things to come but let's stay focused we've got a long way to go nothing is won yet we're four points clear in the league but we've got a massive massive April coming up and that's what I want to talk about it's fixes in April there are seven fixtures in April Almeria away we start with and last one was two matches a week for the entire month and that is going to be really really strenuous on the squad they're going to have to work really really hard the rotation and the team selections from Luis Enrique are going to have to be very very key he's going to have to pick and choose which games to rest players which games to play players in it's going to be very very interesting to see how he manages that but those are seven massive games. We start with Almeria away. Uh, we've got Sevilla then away from home. Then we start kicking into the Champions League games. We've got Paris Saint-Germain. We've got Valencia in between the two. Really tough games. Then we play PSG at home after that a few days later. And then we're away at Espanyol. And then you can throw in games like Celta Vigo as well into that bunch. And it's a really, really tough month. Because what we have to do now is completely focus. We've got our lead in the, in the, in the league. We're in the Copa del Rey final. We're in the Champions League quarterfinal. But what we have to do now is sit down and say, right, we've got ourselves into the right positions. We're exactly where we want to be. We've got to maintain that. We've got what we want to be. We've worked so, so hard to get here. Now we've got to maintain it. We've got to keep that level. We've got to keep the confidence high. We've got to keep doing the same things that we've been doing. And consistency from here on in is absolutely key. The guys out there have got to go out there every single game believing in themselves. They're high on confidence. We seen that last night. The way Luis Suarez took his goal, that was confidence confidence right there you know there was a real atmosphere around the camp now the fans have got to do their part they've got to get behind the team because in those games in April there's going to be times where we're going to need to drag out a win we're going to really need to grind it out because those are grueling fixtures so many games in one month really tough games as well they're going to need to drag themselves through and drag them over the line and that crowd as we saw last night, with the banners that were held up, they've got to be the 12th man. They've got to get behind the team. I'm going to be there for the Valencia game. I'll tell you more about that uh, as we come to it. It's going to be amazing, the atmosphere. Can't wait for that. But those games in April are so vital, and that is where we're going to win or lose our season. It's going to be a success or it's going to be a real failure where we dropped off. And I really don't believe that we're going to mess it up from here. I think the players have got enough about them. The coach knows what he's doing. Everyone understands the roles, and I think we can do it because these, these next few games now can shape the title race we've got to progress in the Champions League against PSG the semi-final draw is going to be very interesting if we get through the Copa del Rey finals coming up later in May and it's a huge part of the season but let's face it going into those periods we're in a really really nice position and if you'd have given me this position at the start of the season I'd have snapped your hand off for it because we're doing really really well and we're in a commanding position in the league 
in the cup final, still in the Champions League. All the boxes are being ticked. We've got to maintain that level. So leave your thoughts down below, guys. The international break coming up. So may have a few odd videos here, random ones coming up, because, of course, Barca are not in action now for another two weeks, which is going to be hard to take, I must tell you, because right now we're on the top of our form. We don't want anything to disrupt that. But uh, I'll be back with some videos here and there with different things to talk about, like today's video, really. But leave your thoughts down below. What sort of position do you believe we're in? Can you see us seeing it through? And what are your aims? Is the treble on? It certainly is. Visca El Barça.